Love was in the air this week, and love is big business in the United States. Every Valentine's Day, consumers fork out billions of dollars on chocolate, flowers, gifts, and meals. I spent around $150 for the presents, flowers, gifts, everything. I got a perfume for my fiance. Um, I love shopping on a holiday, uh, make it special for the lady. Uh, it's their day, and you just want to show your appreciation for your love. I'm just grateful for her, and yes, I will shop on Valentine's Day and get her the nicest gift I can possibly think of. Yeah, I feel very beloved. I know he always like he always does like giving flowers every, every other week or every week. But, like it's more special that we can spend time, and he he will cook for me today for the first time. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> thing. I'm I'm hoping not to mess it up. <laughs> Retail helps drive the U.S. economy. It contributes nearly $4 trillion to annual GDP and supports one in four jobs, according to the National Retail Federation. Consumers spend in two buckets. It's the discretionary and non-discretionary, or the stuff that you have to spend money on and the stuff that you want to spend money on. And Valentine's Day is a big discretionary spend. You get a good gauge here of how the consumer is thinking about themselves uh, and their financial position by how much they're spending. The National Retail Federation says overall more than half of consumers celebrate February 14th through cards, gifts and restaurant reservations. How much cash people splashed on Valentine's Day varied widely across different age groups. Asked in the lead up to the big day what they expected to spend, 18 to 24 year olds said $97 each, 35 to 44 year olds predicted a spend of $137 and that's more than double what over 65s plan to pay at $61. But it's not all roses. New figures show consumer spending declined 0.8% last month much more than expected. And nearly half of Americans say inflation impacted their Valentine's Day plans this year, according to personal finance company WalletHub. Nonetheless, data shows consumers aren't really tightening their belts. Consumer expenditures are a huge portion of our economy, about two thirds. So the, the whole economy really depends on consumers not cutting back so far. They haven't been cutting back even as the Federal Reserve keeps raising interest rates. That raises the question, how are they funding that? How are consumers funding that? Pretty straightforward. They're running up credit card bills. And while money can't buy love, almost a third of people say getting into debt for Valentine's Day is worth it to show how much they care. Sally Patterson, CGTN, New York.